Hey, how's it going? My name is Jackie Fish and welcome back to some more Kingdom Come Deliverance. Today we are back again in the From the Ashes DLC. However, we are in Rete. As I took your advice, you guys were telling me that you don't mind if I grind a bit for cash during these episodes. However, you want to see more of the DLC. You want to see more of me getting traders and stuff. And I totally understand that. So I've done quite a bit of grinding off camera. I've already got around about 8k in my treasury back home in Pro Levitz. Uh, if you pronounce it i'm never gonna get it right and i also have 10 grand in my pocket right now so we should be able to build the trader and we should also maybe be able to build something else which will be really really good we'll have to take a look and uh, see what else we can do but you know we, we should have you know a good amount of money maybe even be able to build that tavern right away which would be perfect so yeah we, we should have a decent amount of money the reason though i am in retay is because I have now found Bernard um, and I want to obviously go give him back his chalice which we got from a Kanesh mission. So we'll go ahead and uh, give it back to him right now. Belongs to you. I found it in Scalitz. What do you mean? Um, just a goblet. I'll give him his money back. What the hell? I am honourable Henry after all. Saints, thank you. You don't even know how much you helped us. And if you know my wife, then. You'll know you just saved my life. Cool. <laughs> You're welcome. I... I don't know what to say. Here, take this at least. I'm poor, but you saved us. Oh, nice. So, I mean, that's kind of cool. We got 20 Goshens back. You know, that's, that's kinda, I kind of feel good that I you know, did that for him. You know, hopefully maybe boosted my reputation. But I think now we're going to head back to our, our own village um, and then go build these buildings. So let's make our way northwards. We are a little bit tired and stuff. It's about to hit night time. So probably once we hit the city to the north or the village. I keep on calling it a city. I don't know why. Once we hit back at our home village, I probably will maybe take a nap quickly. Um, but I just really wanted to go give him back his goblet because we kind of started that mission along the road. Um, I guess we'll stop and see what this is all about because we want to, you know, if there are any missions or anything we do want to see it so i guess we'll, we'll we'll take a look at any carcasses and stuff just dead i mean i don't want to loot it unless there's like no one around but i can't see anyone i mean what loot does it even have some i mean this meat is actually really good you can sell it for quite a lot What's of money at traders there? oh it's yeah it's this guy hello what do you want what, are you up to? what on earth are you talking about what are you doing here Looking for your kill, are you, you poacher? That dead deer? Do I look like a poacher, mate? I'm looking for cumins. I'm killing any I find. Q? Not like. B that. Sorry, what? I'm in full I armor. Be buttering the carcass. I will cut your throat, mate, if you want to talk shit. I was finding out what happened here, so I could report it. Hmm. All right. I've got a funny feeling about you, but I can't be absolutely sure you did it. I'm relieved to hear it. Chat shit, get banged. And what exactly were you doing here, anyway? What are you getting at? You're carrying the murder weapon. You won't prove it's a murder weapon, but I prove I know how to use it. Let's go, dude. I know I'm supposed to be honourable, but this guy is getting a bit It'll too be much. It'll easier for you if you confess. All right, then. <laughs> that was easy. I needed food. The Cumans burned us out. The brigands took everything. Everything. You don't have to tell anyone, you know. And and you won't regret it. Cool, whatever. You do you, man. I'll take my 25 Groshans and I'll leave. Even though apparently the Cumans took everything, but you still have 25 Groshans to give me. I mean, that is a lot of meat as well. I definitely could have sold it for a ton, but... You know, I, it's kind of annoying because a lot of the traders and grocers you try and sell that meat to have, like, no money. Uh, even the millers don't tend to have. Like, I think the mill miller at, uh, at where Teresa's at, at Rite, only has, like, a thousand gold as well. So it's kind of a little bit, a little bit annoying, honestly, trying to sell, like, a ton of goods to them. Oh, this is night time, though. I don't really want to fight at night time. Normally, I would always take that opportunity, but... Because it's dark, you guys just will not be able to see a thing. Uh, and I don't really want to fight with a torch out because it slows down my weapon speed. So we will just ignore that. Uh, let's pull out our torch. I, I thought if you double tapped uh, one, it pulls out your torch. But I guess not. Maybe I have to have it equipped. There we go. Someone actually did say in the last episode that 
uh, having a torch out really made it look cool. So I'm going to try and do this. If we're in night time, obviously I'll whip out my torch instead of just trying to skip through it. Because, yeah, I was told that uh, having the torch out you know, does make it look cool and you guys can actually see stuff. So I made sure to do it. It was just a shame in the uh, the Townberg mission when we were, we were trying to get into the castle. Obviously, I couldn't have my torch out in the midst of when we're trying to... Uh, trying to actually storm the castle and rescue some prisoners. So let's just eat from a pot really quickly. We need to get our food up. And then we'll take a quick nap until daytime. We do need to get our energy up. There better be a uh, space for me to sleep here as well. After all, this is like my uh, my rat house. I bet he's in my bed. Oh, no. Good health to you, Henry. Good health to you as well. But there's no bed in the rat house? I mean, I guess it is like a town hall. It's not really a sleeping quarters. But still, I was... Kind of hoping uh, that there'll be some sort of bed. Can I sleep on any of these? I can. It's not going to be very comfortable, but it'll pass the time. So that's all we need. We'll just go to like 6 a.m. That should be plenty. I mean, yeah, let's just go to let's just go to 5. Hopefully everyone will be up and we can start building. I'm not sure if the locator will be awake by 5, but... And the thing is as well, until we start getting these taverns up and stuff, we don't really want to be wasting time. We want to be building these buildings whenever we can because we're currently operating at a net loss and we obviously want, don't want that to be happening, so... Hey, what are you playing at with that weapon? I thought that you just double pressed one to get rid of the torch and stuff, but it's annoying that I have to keep on doing it. I swear it was double tap, but hey, whatever, I guess not. The locator's probably not up, but we can probably push him up by doing this. So yeah, we are currently losing 445 Goshens every single day, uh, which we obviously need to try and uh, sort out. But as I said, we now have a lot of money. We only have 4k there, but that should be enough, right? I'm pretty sure that'll be enough. And we'll go and put all the money. I mean, we still have some good gear to sell, but nothing really crazy. And we'll probably just put, probably just put like, yeah, we'll, we'll just put all of our money in there. So we have 14k Groshans there, it's just perfect. That should give us the ability to build the trader, which we're looking for. And then also maybe the tavern, because I believe the tavern's eight and the trader is four, if I'm not mistaken. And then that should start to give us some money, um, uh, at least bring it in here. The trader's four grand, so we want to build this. And then we also want to build the tavern. Oh, we can't build the tavern until we've got stone and grain, which we'll have to go look for suppliers to, to get them in and uh, help out. Yeah, so we'll have to look for supplies for grain and stuff, which is fine with me. We might have to do a little bit of wheeling and dealing as well. Because if we wheel and deal, because uh, you guys were telling me that I need to look for, like, the best people to work on these stuff. And I need to look for the best suppliers because, you know, each supplier has their own rates and stuff. So we'll have to look around, hopefully find some good ones. I mean, the charcoal burners are pretty friendly with me, to be honest. There he is. Great. So we can build this now. I just didn't want him to, like not build because of something but yeah building this uh, trader will be great it'll start really getting in maybe some money for us right here yeah cool so the trader will start producing us money i believe and as soon as we get cart horses as well that will really help out marius there's work to be done there's work to be done marius let's go my dude we got we gotta build this trader get it up and running then we need to go get the that shouldn't take too long Come along with me and we'll take a look at the sun. On my way, dear sir. Um, yeah, so after we've done this and we need to go get grain and marble, or stone, obviously, not marble, uh, which we can go to the quarry from the mason, uh, from the church, the big church, the monastery, I should say. We can go there for our stone because that's a really good stone. We could also go to uh, Townberg. I believe Townberg actually does have a supply, but I guess we'll check them both out, really. And then for wheat, I don't really know where to go for like for, like to, for getting grain storage. But I guess we'll 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 probably get some hints from Marius at good places to go. I'm sure he will tell me. So yeah, this episode should be a lot more about the DLC, whereas the last two episodes have been a kind of a bit iffy on DLC content. So hopefully you guys enjoy this stuff more. And if you do, be sure to drop a like and a comment down below. It really does help out the channel, and I appreciate it so goddamn much. So thank you guys. We're gonna build here. Yes. Shall we get started? I'm ready. Of course, let's get this up and running. I'll just quickly check again that we have everything we need. Hmm. So we'll look good, We've Maris? We've got the means. We'll get stuck in then. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Build me a trader worthy of Mordor. Oh, awesome. This is like our first proper, proper building. Besides the rat house, but... 
This is cool. We still need to go and get a trader for this. But I believe I read somewhere that, or at least one of you guys told me that the trader at, um, at Rattay was pretty decent. And he was worth getting. But nice, we have our own trader now. Do we actually have a, a, a decent trader? Well, it's all behind us now. All this talk of leaving here on account of the fighting at Tomberg and Brannock. I have my doubt. Yeah, no, we're all good now. So we, I imagine we do have like a, a normal merchant, which we can probably actually sell some stuff to. I mean, he doesn't have a huge trade of wealth, but we actually have like a few gauntlets, I think, that we could actually sell. Like, yeah, this. Sell that. I'm giving you your first little bit of business. I like to, I like to think that I was the, uh, the first business here. And I, I won't bother haggling with you too much. I'll just close the deal. <laughs> a standard price, my lord. A standard price. So we now do have the trader, uh, and we have to go... Now we have the trader. We should maybe be able to build um, some other stuff. I want to go see Marius quickly. Because I'm not sure if we now have to build like grain storages and stuff to then get it. We also will go and grab that up as well in a second. Uh, oh yeah, so here we go. This is probably it. Tonebug stone. Some grain there. Livestock from Sassau. Sassau grain. Livestock. Okay, cool. So we all have like these charcoals and grain and stuff and, and livestock that we can pick up now if we want to. Um, so I think what I'm going to do is I'm probably going to... Is this like the only... Is this like the only stone? So that's our charcoal. So is there only one stone? Is it just Townberg stone? Charcoal from Ginger. Oh, that's Ginger's. Ginger, is he... Was he a bad guy? Oh, Ginger was the guy from over here, right? Yeah, so we probably should go to him, right? Because he'd like us more. There is only one stone, right? If I'm not mistaken. So we need to go get stone. We need to get stone and grain. So yeah, I guess Townberg stone is going to be our one. I mean, Townberg get their stone from the get their stone from the monastery anyway, mostly. Um, so can Could you, you tell me more about? Is there anything else that you can tell me about which I don't really know? Doesn't look like it. Um, so nothing actually. Nothing. I is there anything we can like improve? Certainly. Improvements? No, nothing there. Man, it's just the same kind of stuff. Yeah, I want to build that tavern. We just don't have the stuff for it. We need to go and uh, now get our grain and stuff. So let's also go and do these uh, governing quests as well, because these can give us more money and stuff, which will be pretty useful. So let's uh, let's see what the people have to say today. Oh, I, I want to actually uh, get rid of a bit of this armor as well. We look a bit too uh, proper right now. We look kind of cool like this. I I, I dig that. <laughs> There's another unpleasant matter for you to handle. Let Nothing me hear so it. Terrible, I hope. Yeah, we look cool like that. That's for you to decide, Master Bailiff. As you know, the woods and everything in them belong to our liege lord. He gave you the right to make use of them. But as far as I know, no one else is allowed to hunt there. Yeah, let me guess. Some of our fold are putting game on their tables from our woods, and I have to deal with them. Just so. A case like this ought to be judged by his lordship himself, but I fear Sir Divish might be a little too strict in this matter. So what are my options? You can hand the poachers over to justice, let them off with a warning, or, of course, one can always turn a blind eye and leave it in the hands of God. What's your decision? Well, because they're new and we're only just getting here, I mean, granted, they know that they shouldn't poach, honestly, um, and they should keep... Um you know, this isn't like this is their first place. They're just like, oh, random woods. Oh, we can definitely poach here. So they, they should know wrong from right and the, the law of the lands because they've been living here already. But I'm going to give them a strong word. You know, if it happens again, then there will be punishment. Um, but yeah, we'll have strong we'll words confiscate them. the poach game and put the fear of God into the culprit so they don't do it again. No point in carrying it any higher. We should keep our own affairs in order. A wise decision, Henry. I'll see to it. I think that's the best bet, considering this is like a new town and stuff, we need to try our best to, you know, keep the order, but we want to encourage people to move here, so we don't want to act too strict, I think, is a good plan. Uh, so yeah, let's go get this uh, stone, uh, we'll go to Townburg, um, and we'll pick up this stone, and then I guess it's grain? I don't really know where to go though for grain. So we have a few bits, we have that, we have Uzits, um, that's charcoal for now, we don't need charcoal right away. Sassau grain could be good as well to pick up. Or was it here? Livestock, no. Was it here? Again, that's charcoal. So when we need charcoal, we'll probably go to ginger. So it's Uzits, it's uh, Sasau, 
or it's this place. So we have a bunch of places we can pick up, and I'll have to obviously check out what's good and what's not. But for now, what we will do is we'll go to Townburg right away, um, as I do want to try and grab up the the stone as soon as possible. Start getting shipments in so we can we can improve our buildings and obviously get closer and closer to building that tavern. I'm a little bit nervous for that. Um, it's going to be a little bit too nice. Good, okay. Is this been fixed yet? Or is it still a glitch? I have I have seen my game update, but no, it's still a glitch. Uh, apparently, everyone's feeling that, so I assume it is just a a, a glitch. But they're, hopefully, they'll fix soon because yeah. it is really annoying. Because that uh, that robot mission is really really useful at getting loot yeah. and, and just finding people to kill. So I, I super hope they, they they deploy a halt fix soon to fix that because it's kind of frustrating that there isn't anything to. To, uh, to fix that. And by if you, if you don't know what I'm talking about. It's that Townberg walls are like invisible. And as well as that Captain Robar. The guy who gives a lot of these bandit quests out. Is stuck in the middle of the ground. And you can't talk to him. <laughs> I, I, I'd imagine that would be quite a priority to fix. So I'm hoping they will do so. Very very soon. Let's just stay over here I think. For the dudes we need to talk to. Maybe have to do some quests or something. Hello, are you asleep already? No, you can't be. Where is the mission? Oh, also, do we have any loot in one of these? I remember us putting away our gear in one of these chests. There's like a chest here, but maybe it's just... Maybe it was the gear we got the other day. Definitely could be. So it's like one of these, right? It's probably you. You're probably fast asleep, right? Uh -huh. Oh, come on, Rupert. Wakey, wakey. Wakey, wakey. It's not even like that early oh my god everyone's asleep it's not even that early i mean it is i guess it is like eight o'clock but come on the night is young time to have some fun hey that rhymed i guess we will just simply uh do we need food yeah we need food i guess we will just sit by the uh, fire and uh wait for time away do we actually have any books to read that could be something good to do i'm not sure if we do though i think we've we've read all of our our books we have and probably should be oh no we have this one um, we can study this for a couple hours until completion reading by the lit moonlight until these guys wake up and this will give us some extra stats and stuff which is always nice maybe an extra perk or something if we level up nice we improved our speech it's always good um, as we have no other books though right we can even sell this book now as well and we, as I said, we'll just simply wait. God, I meant to press D there to move it along. Um, yeah, 7 o'clock, they should. It's time to wake up, boys. And we can even take another eat from the pot as well. As our nourishment does tend to drop a little bit low. I've messed up my good diet perk so many times by just overeating. Because I'm like, ah, whatever, it'll be fine. It's actually a really good perk. Henry, I'm glad you came. Well, I came last night and you were fast asleep, my dude. I'm saving my livelihood. If folk believe the stories, well, I dread to think how it could have ended up. Well, you're welcome. The Bardstone wasn't even from your quarry. Still, sometimes words can hurt a man more than a blow from a mace. Here's your reward. Oh, cheers. You've earned it, lad. <laughs> well, I'll take it. I'm here at the behest of Sir Divish. I'm looking for the overseer of this quarry. Would that be you, Goodman? Aye, oh, that's me. What can I do for you? Sir Divish has decided to rebuild Privislavitz, and he's entrusted me to take charge, along with his locator. Aha, uh -huh. so it's you. I heard about Sir Divish's plans. What is it you need, then? Well, we've started with the reconstruction work, but we need more than just timber. You need stone for the construction? Exactly. And for repairing the church. Well now, you're really not doing things by halves, are you? The thing is, though, we're already working flat out supplying stone for the monastery construction in Sassau. I can't cut back on their supplies. Sir Divish wouldn't be at all pleased. But I really need that stone. Well, I suppose I could try and hire a few more quarrymen to increase production. But we can't transport it. Even Sassau sends their own wagon here. Have you got someone to carry the stone? I've got my own merchant. He'll take care of it with his hired hands. Splendid. So let's talk about the price. Here we go. Let's go. Oh my god, 4k? 
our speech is high as well, so maybe we can... Uh... The stone is for Sir Divish. It's for a village he wants to rebuild as quickly as possible. I doubt he'd take it well that the overseer of his own quarry is overcharging him for it. Well, you have a point. I'll take that into account in the price. No, that's still too much. But I can't sell my stone any cheaper. I wouldn't be able to pay my men. If you won't accept the price, where... Okay, so 3k, um, I don't have that much right now, but we can go, we can go and get it. Um, it's a little bit more money than I wanted to spend, but that's fine. We can go and get that. I should have expected that we needed money for this, um, honestly. So we'll make our way back up to our, our stocks and we'll go and get some more stone. Because getting the stone in is just, just going to be really useful. If we can even get up here. There we go. And we might run into some bandits along the road. It's early and we can hopefully use that to our advantage. So we'll fast travel back up here. Hopefully run into some bandits so we can get some more gill. Gear, gear, gill? Some more gear to sell at Retay when we do head back. We need to head to Retay and we also need to head to Sassal. Perfect. This is, this is great. So let's halt. Hopefully it's good people to fight. Oh yeah. This is okay. This is going to be a hard fight for sure. Good hit straight away off the bat. And we should be able to hit him again. Perfect, he's gonna block me there. This guy's getting owned by us. Luckily, I don't know where his boys are, though. His boys aren't coming to help him, because there's normally multiple of these guys, but if it's just one guy, we can take this guy out quite easily. Try and faint away. See, these are the fights I enjoy where it's kind of smooth and there's lots of stuff going on. We'll faint low, try and help him out, but he managed to dodge that. He got a pretty good strike off there. I mean, he's almost low, though. That's annoying, because if you end up winning them clinches, you end up really doing well, but we're not going to do that. We need to protect our head as well, quite heavily. He's so low. One more strike and he's dead. Whoa. Chill, my dude. This is a family-friendly stream keeps on beating me on them clinches. I'm pretty sure what you have to do is just click and push forward and you win them. He's so low. Just one more strike will do it. There we go. Perfect. He bled out. And he's going to have some good gear on him, um, which we're going to be able to sell and stuff. Oh, I might just go and sell this stuff. That might be give me enough to, uh, to pick up that much. Yeah, if we just pick up all of his stuff, we might actually have enough to... Uh, Go get that gear once we sell it at like retail something because he is armored to a tooth. And we're literally going to take everything. I need the cash, so we're literally going to take everything of value. That's kind of cool. I prefer these fights where it's just one or two guys because they're much more enjoyable than when you're fighting like 50 other dudes, which gets a little bit crazy and it's so hard to like actually fight properly. I guess we'll, we'll, we'll hold again and hopefully it's again just another dude. Fuck it. Where is he? There he is. Okay, it's multiple dudes this time, but they're... They're much, much less the armoured. Yeah, these guys are going to go down fairly quickly. He got a few hits off. I need to be careful as well, because I don't actually have a helmet on right now. And yeah, he won't be able to stop this. So we'll pick up their weapons to sell. You know, they'll be worth a couple hundred groschens and every little helps. There also should be another dude somewhere as apparently we're still in combat, but... Oh, we got some shoes. Nice, we'll take that. And again, we're just going to take everything as we need the money. And we have a lot of potions we could sell. We don't tend to use these potions, so... I might, you know, I might think about selling these. Is there no one else? Is that everyone? We can't fast travel now. We need to move a few things over to our horse. Which, hey, we'll, we'll do right away. Probably definitely all these weapons as well. It's not a bad idea as well if we were to... 
smear all these arrows over as well, save us a little bit of space. It wouldn't be a, an awful idea either to actually go and sharpen all the weapons we gain on the whetstone and then sell it. Because the whetstone will improve it quite nicely. Nice yeah. to see our trader. I mean, the city's really coming along. The village. Why do I keep on saying city? The village is coming along quite nicely. Kanesh does help out. Um, I, from what I was reading, Kanesh is probably one of the better woodcutters you can get. So I'm, I'm glad we did pick him up. And once we're in Retain, maybe selling this gear. Uh, what am I doing? I need to go get the gold, right? So we have, we need four grand, right? Um, I'll take five just in case. I'll take six just whilst we're out. Because as long as we have enough to operate, we'll take six. That should be enough. Because I imagine the stone will probably cost us the most out of everything to start get ship to get shipped in. Um, because obviously it's, you know, going to be fairly expensive. So again, we'll head back to Townburg and get this stone rocking in and then we'll go look for grain. I'll see what one I can get for the best. Uh, I guess we'll examine, oh, I meant to press E. Um, because, you know, sometimes you can get some good missions where you have to duel people and stuff. So it's worthwhile probably looking at all of these encounters. A hold up. Oh yeah, we're fighting, baby. Are we on horseback as well? Oh, no, these are, these are amazing. These are like the best ones to fight because you're you're fighting multiple heavily armored humans with our other soldiers as well. So, so you get so much loot here. Oh, this is a mate. Whoa! Why? Why is everyone fighting me? Oh fuck this! See you boys later. You guys still chasing me? Fight each other! Oh my god! So everyone here is at war with one another. That's crazy. Go away. I want to kill the other guy who's running away. Because he is so much... He like his loot. I'm chasing this guy to the ends of the Murphs. God, go away, man. I want to chase this guy who's fleeing. I've lost him now. Oh, this Cuman can, can suck it, man. Get my energy back and I'm going to slaughter this guy. Because that other guy has so much loot on him. Come on, where are you going, man? Yeah, yeah. Come on, I'm waiting. I should be able to get some good strikes on him. Nice, it's him down. Uh, okay, I'm probably going to loot him really quickly just because I'm going to forget where he is. Literally just going to take everything we can. Quickly then send this over to my horse because we can't run now. And we need to get back to that fight because there's normally so much loot we can pick up. Um, but I doubt we're even going to be able to carry it all. We also need to repair our gear when we get back. I mean, having a helmet on is probably a good idea, but I'm lazy, so... Yeah, we're literally just moving everything we're not wearing onto our horse. Somehow the horse can hold it. Just... I'm annoyed that that other guy got away. He was like one hit from dying. He would have been perfect to slay. Let's get back onto the road though as quickly as we can. As they continue to fight their way. Wait, are they attacking my horse? Oh, what the fuck? Well, yeah, you are going down. Could do with a bite to eat. Oh my god, come back. And look at all this loot that I didn't have to kill these guys for. Well, yeah, you deserve to die trying to kill my horse. I mean, it's just this guy. There's so much loot here, we're not going to be able to carry it all. What are you doing? Yeah, let's go. Trying to kill my horse. Who do you think you are? Yeah, he's going to hurt because we don't have a helmet on. I should probably just put a helmet on. I don't know why I'm not. This is the last one. Yeah, you say that. We do have to pay a little bit more attention, though. To push me back. I always hate fighting shield dudes because... Go on, nice. This is great. We can normally get a strike in. No, we missed. That's so annoying. Did not even see that blended in. 
We can't block after he does that. That hammer hurts as well. I need to pick. I need to probably be, be equipping my hammer. Come on, where are you going? <laughs> we get close enough. He can't really dodge me too well. Especially once we do that. A nice little move there I set up. Yeah, no, you're 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 done for, mate. Um, so cool, let's loot him. Uh, again, as I said, we're not going to be able to take like everything. Uh, we're going to have to maybe be a little bit picky of what we pick up, just because this stuff is going to be heavy. I mean, I could just pick it up and then be over encumbered and then ride my way over there. But for now, that's all we're going to take. There's so much loot here. We're going to be rich, boys. So yeah, I'm going to quickly loot all of this stuff off camera so you guys don't have to just sit here and watch me do it. And then I might ride to Rete. No, I'll ride... Yeah, I'll ride to get the stone and then I maybe will obviously ride to Rete to, to hand all this stuff in because there's a lot of gear here to sell. Okay, guys, so we are here. I am super over-encumbered, but I don't want to give up any of this gear because it's going to be worth a ton. We just need to make it to Rete, basically, and uh, give up our gear. I'm also kind of drunk as well because I got a little bit wounded and I drank a potion to, uh, to sort that out. About transporting the stone to Privislavis. Yes. I've got my own... Yeah, so, so let's... um. Wait, I got it cheaper last time. No, because oh, I didn't have the money on me. Oh, that's so annoying. That's so annoying. Wow, how frustrating is that? Um, I guess right. I'll accept the deal now. Right. No other choice. Excellent. We'll start sending the stone. As oh, so I missed out there. So frustrating. Oh, well, so he's going to start sending stone now. So we have stone. We just need to go and get grain. But I think our first bet is to go um, down and sort out... Um, to sort out our grain. So there's no grain around here, right? So there's charcoal, there's livestock from Rete and Rete up there. So there's grain up at Uzitz, which we might be worth taking a look at, uh, just to see how much money it's going to be. And yeah, why not? Let's... Oh, we're over encumbered, so we can't fast travel. Okay, so let's, I guess, go down to uh, Rete, which I'll go travel myself off camera. But yeah, nice. So we've got stone now, which is perfect. Where's that bad boy horse as well? Horsey, I bet you are perfect. Can we, say, can we talk to anything else about him out of interest? God damn, we're so slow. We just need to sell this at Rete and we'll be fine. No, we can't talk to him. Okay, so yeah, well, let's head down to Rete. Um, if I run into any of the grain dudes, I'll obviously bring it back to you guys. But for now, I will be riding as fast as I can. Okay, so we came to Rete. I sold as much gear as I could. But for some reason, the Armorsmith, I must have cleared him out pretty recently. And he hasn't reset his money, hasn't sold any goods yet. So he's still at zero. So we still are heavily over encumbered. But I want to go to this guy and see if he'll come work at my trader in, um, obviously, our village. So I also actually will quickly want to see if we can trade anything to him. Because he actually has a decent amount of wealth. So we might be able to sell some of our gauntlets we have. These bows will be perfect. I don't want to sell, sell any of the helmets or anything. Because they don't really tend to sell for too much uh, to a trader. But all of these other st other people we can sell uh, stuff to. Like all of our uh, like gauntlets and stuff which we don't really need. Like these silver rings sell. Uh, the spurs and the goblets can sell. Um, and these bows. The bows I end up not really having too many people to sell these to because normally they only really sell to the hunter and the hunter never normally has a lot of cash so well um so again let's just bargain him up to like this try and get some money and this is a lot of stuff that we don't normally get to sell either so so nice and then we'll see if he wants to come work at our town i need an experienced merchant to help me with the rebuilding of previous lavis how would you like to move there <laughs> me a burger Go and live in the woods? <laughs> Doesn't look so good so far. <laughs> Hold on. You're actually serious? Well, yes. You want me to give up the position I've been building for my help here for <laughs> years? I'd have to be mad, young fellow. No, no. You should try and find someone else who knows about numbers, weights, and measures. Farewell. Okay, so no, not him. There was a merchant here somewhere, though, I remember willing to come. I, I can't remember where, though. 
because I've spoken to him before, or at least I've seen a merchant before. Um, so now where? I guess we'll go down to the mill. Oh, was it him? Because he's, I believe, uh, willing to come. Is it, was it this guy? God save you, Henry. I mean, he's just a trader. He's God not exactly sick. anyone special, and yeah, I can't get him. But I know there is a merchant around here that, that will come. There's no one I can really sell too much of this gear to, like anything that would be worth. I don't want to waste my money. I guess, though, we do just need to sell this stuff. Um, I do want to go to the herbalist. Oh, God, it's so annoying being over-encumbered. Are you anyone important? No, you're just a townsman. Uh, let's go to the herbalist, see if we can sell our potions. We never really use potions. We just don't really have a need to. And he normally has a fair amount of cash on him anyway. And then, I guess, we'll go to uh, the miller, sell our stuff to the miller. Uh, let's trade. And then we'll go over to Sassau, see what we can get the armor smith there. So let's sell. And I think we're just going to sell all of these potions. We literally don't have any need for them. Besides the health ones, I just I just never use these ones. So we can make a you know a couple extra hundred groschens here. Oh, we can also sell gloves and stuff here. Interesting. Oh, yeah. I should probably go to the Tanner, right, as well. Because the Tanner does actually offer me a fair amount of, uh, of stuff. So... So, yeah, that will probably do. I'll keep everything else because these are all good. I'll sell the bill as well. We never literally drink anyway. Um, and we'll just wear. I don't really care about getting the what most optimal it? price. Uh, so, yeah, we'll go to the Tanner now um, and sell. Because I know we can actually sell some of this armor to the Tanner. But I, I believe I recently went there. So, I don't want to... Um, I don't want to, obviously, go to him again if he has no money. But I guess we will find out. And we'll go see Teresa as well whilst we go down to the miller. Greetings see if Teresa wants to come and live a life by my side. Do we have anything? So we can sell all of this. And he does have a decent amount of money. Now, I know for a fact we're not going to be getting a ton of cash for all of this. But, uh, you know, it'll be it'll be good nonetheless. Like, we'll be getting some money for it. Um, and I guess some money's better than no money, right? So I guess I will try and just sell all the gloves to him more than anything else. And all the, like, padding. I imagine that stuff sells a bit better than... The heavy arm, which we'll have to wait to sell to someone else. But he can still take a little bit more, so I guess we'll keep on offering. We have so much on our horse as well to sell. Okay, that'll be enough, and we'll just haggle him up the extra couple hundred. Let's have a word this is all really good money we're getting, um, especially we have so much gear on our horse. Our horse is still, like, fully over-encumbered. See, now I knew... And that's 50, another 1,500 Goshens, and we're no longer over-encumbered! Yippee! I feel like a new man. I feel like a new man. Um, so yeah, let's go on our horse. So if you guys have, because we're going to come to the end of the episode kind of soonish. Um, I want to just go over to Sassau and stuff uh, really quickly. But if you guys have any good ideas on the best people to pick up, whether yeah. for grain and like livestock and stuff, do let me know in the comments down below. As I was, I want to, I want to get the best people for the job, but I don't want to long out the video where I'm just kind of looking around every single person. I'll do a bit of it off camera, but if you guys know or have any good guides for it, do let me know because yeah. obviously I want to get the best people for the job. Um, so yeah, hello Teresa, your knight in shining armor has arrived. Please don't give me a copyright or a. Uh, a strike on the channel like you did last time from I'm getting naked. It. Thanks for that, by the way, Teresa. I've got some goods here. All right. <laughs> I mean, it was my own fault. So, yeah, nice. He has a ton of cash as well now. So, we can literally just get rid of all of this stuff. Let's uh, go, boys. Yeah, and we'll just do that. So, we still have so much gear left remaining. This is really nice. It's going to gonna super help us. Whoa, what did I just put over there? I did I didn't mean, not mean to do something. Um, let's bring that back. There we go, perfect. And we'll just close the deal, I guess. Can we do something? I about did not mean to haggle. I knew we could. Perfect. Uh, hello, Teresa, my love. You're gonna come live with me? I will. Uh, I will so give you a cushy apartment. Is he not gonna come like to live with me, Teresa? No, oh, I don't think she all. is. Oh, what a shame. I, I was hoping for more dialogue options. Maybe more arrive later on. I have no idea um, if they do or not, but hopefully they do. So what are we up to now? Um, we want to obviously look at grain. So I'm probably going to go up for the most livestock. This is all livestock, right? The grain is the grain is up at Uzitz, over here, and then at Sassau, right? Sassau grain, yeah. I imagine like this place would probably be my best. But maybe use it. So maybe it's kind of like me a little bit. Um, but let's go over to Sasso anyway because we need to sell the rest of these goods. 
Um, and I'll take, I'll ask about the grain bear anyway. So do I only get one option? Like when I ask him for the discount, do I only get one like chance at it or, or what? I mean, probably Uzits would be the best because it's the closest, right, as well. So I imagine that would be the best. I guess we'll halt and we'll see what's going on here. Oh, there's a lot of humans here. There's a lot of humans here. Oh my god. This is gonna. Oh my god, he just did so much damage to me. Try and take out one of them really early on. That archer is gonna be the most annoying thing, so that's why I need to. Luckily, they're not very heavily armed, but these arrows are hurting. Give us another one dead. It's just one more now. Oh, God, I'm getting smacked up. So these guys are a little more lightly armored, but they're still going to sell. There we go. He's, he's done for. We got hurt pretty bad. The arrows definitely found their mark. See you later, mate. I am Henry, son of Sir Radzig. Just some more loot now to pick up, I guess. I guess we will. I'm not going to say no. We just got unencumbered, and now all of a sudden, we're back to being heavily encumbered, one would imagine. But, I mean, this is all really good money for us, so I guess I can't complain too much. This guy doesn't have too much on him. His weapons as well are always good, because I don't tend to always... Um, get rid of the cash of the there's no axe here or sword i don't tend to get rid of all the cash from the swordsmiths normally it's normally the armor smiths that sort of which i rinse out but yeah we're over encumbered for sure now yep super slow uh we'll pick up his hammer as well so once we start getting the i think we just need charcoal once we get the charcoal and we can actually build a blacksmith as well hello good sir don't mind me, just looting away on these scumbags right here. Nothing to see. Can I talk to you? Are you just a wanderer? You're just a wayfarer, living your life. Good on you. Proud be with you, Henry. And to you, sir. <laughs> and to you. As I'm just pillaging these dead bodies. Don't mind me. So great, I'm going to have to ride my way over to, uh, to Sasau now. Probably we'll do it off camera. How far away are we? actually pretty close I'll, I'll just ride my way there then so yeah i'll sell this gear and then we'll see about the grain i think okay so we are now in sasau and unfortunately for some reason i can't get to this guy to talk to him about grain he's up in this house right in front of me but both entrances are locked and i can't get in and I, I was thinking it was the scribe or something but for so again some reason i just i can't get in here and i can't get in the main entrance and he just does not seem like he wants to come out. He must be having a, a nice little lay-in. Um, so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and end the episode here. Wait for you guys to give me on some advice on what I do. Uh, where the best opportunity is. Because it's not this guy. He's like in here somewhere and I just can't get in. I could lockpick it but it's not going to be worth it. We'll wait one more hour to see but yeah. Um, so yeah, give me some advice down below. Where can I get the best, uh, you know, the cheapest or the best grain? Where can I get a merchant for my tavern? Do let me know as I would love to find out. And I mean, if there's some way to get this guy to talk to him to find out, that would be great too. But hopefully you guys are enjoying these Welcome, daily man, uploads. Right? If you are, be sure to drop a like and a comment down below. And I will see you guys in the next one.